this is better for him. Again, those were abrogated, but they still apply to nafila fasting. لا يزال عبدي يتقرب إلي بالنوافل حتى وحبه. You draw near to your Lord with nawafil, with extra acts, until Allah loves you. And so fasting is one of the ways. Three months, uh, three days out of the month, it was the practice of the Prophet ﷺ. Some of the Sahaba practiced the fast of Dawood ﷺ, which was every other day. Some practice Monday and Thursday. But the Prophet himself, his practice was three, Ayam Rabayal, the three days of the, the white day. The white days. So the fasting woman, But to fast is better for you. That's if you have a choice. Like if you're traveling, it's better to fast. Some say, though, if there's difficulty, that you should leave it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنَ This shahar, this month, is the month that the Qur'an was revealed. The Qur'an, the inzal of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ On the 27th, according to most of the scholars, but the Prophet said, look for it in the odd days of the last 10 days, the Qur'an came down to Sama'u dunya the entire Qur'an. Jibreel السلام, brought the Qur'an down to the, the, this earthly canopy, the heavens, the earth of the heavens. And then over 23 years, كَانَ مُنَزَّلًا مُفَرَّقًا It was revealed piecemeal to the Prophet السلام, based on the circumstances and the incidents over uh, the lives of the Sahaba and the Prophet himself So the Qur'an came down in Zal one time. And then over 23 years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed it through Jibreel, عَلَّمَهُ شَدِيدَ الْقُوَى Piecemeal. So this is Shahru Ramadan. It represents the gift of the Qur'an, which is why we return to the Qur'an in Shahru Ramadan. The Prophet said in a sound hadith, he said, إِنَّ الصِّيَامَ وَالْقُرْآنَ يَشْفَعَانِ لِلْعَبْدِ the, 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 the fasting and the Qur'an will intercede for you. Allah gives them a voice on Yawm Al-Qiyamah and they intercede for people that practice it. What does Siyam say? قَالَ الصِّيَامُ مَنَعْتُهُ وَالطَّعَامَ وَالشَّهَوَاتِ فِي نَهَارِهِ فَشَفَعْنِ فِيهِ I prevented him from his appetites in the daytime and from uh, his food and so allow me to intercede for him. Al-Quran yaqul, manna'tuhu nawmuhu bil I prevented him from sleeping at night. These are the things that we do. So fasting is not just in the daytime. There's an element in the nighttime, which is sleeping less than we normally sleep. So we eat less than we normally eat, and we sleep less than we normally sleep. And what is the gift? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts her, فَيُشَفَّعَانِ He grants them their shafa'a for the servants that do this. Look at the Prophet ﷺ. He didn't increase his tahajjud. وَمِنِ اللَّيْلِ تَهَجَّدْ بِهِ نَافِرَةً لَكْ He didn't increase his prayers in Ramadan. We do to get closer to the practice of the Prophet that he did every all day, every year. يَا أَيُّهَا الْمُزَمِّرُ قُومَ اللَّيْلَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا نِصْفُهُ وَأَنْقُصْ مِنْهُ قَلِيلًا أَوْ زِدْ عَلَيْهِ وَرَتِّلُ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا That was his practice the whole year. The Prophet was practicing. He didn't increase his, his practice of prayers. Aisha رضي الله عنه عطاء One of the great salaf. عطاء said دخلت على عائشة فقلت لها يا يا عائشة أخبرين بأعجب ما رأيت من رسول الله Tell us the most wondrous thing that you saw from the Messenger of Allah. And she said, Ayu sha'nihi laysa ajaba. What thing that he did wasn't wondrous. Walakin dakhala alayya layla fadakhala firashi. He came one night to me and he entered into the, the bed with me. Hatta masa jilduhu jildi. I could feel his flesh up against my flesh. فَقَالَ يَا إِبْنَةَ أَبِي بَكَرْ ذَرِينِي أَتَعَبَّدُ لِرَبِّي Oh, daughter of Abu Bakr, leave me to go and pray to my Lord. And she said, وَاللَّهِ إِنِّي أُحِبُّ قُرْبَكَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ I love to be close to you. 
لكن أوثروا هواك but I prefer what you prefer فقام إلى قربة ماء وتوضأ ولم يكثر صب الماء he got up to the place the water container and he did wudu and it was a light wudu فقام يصلي فبكى حتى سارت دموعه على صدره so he began to cry until the tears covered his chest ثم ركع فبكى ثم سجد فبكى ولا يزال كذلك حتى جاء بلال آذنه بالصلاة and he continued like that until Bilal came and he told him the prayers come in in other words Fajr so Aisha said Ya Rasulullah ما يبكيك ما يبكيك وقد غفر الله لك ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر what is making you cry when the prophet when your sins or anything you've done and his sins are doing a virtuous thing when a more virtuous thing could be done when all your sins have been forgiven what passed and what is to come and the prophet sallallahu said awalam akun abdan shakura should i not be a grateful slave should i not be a grateful slave in the hadith in a similar hadith in al-bukhari hatta tawarramat qadama فسألته فقال أولم يكون عبدا شكرا he stood until his feet had the edema from, from, from standing so long and he said shouldn't I be a grateful slave gratitude Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام الأخر يريد بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر Allah wants ease for you in this fasting, he doesn't want hardship for you. He didn't reveal this Quran for you to be miserable. He wants ease for you. In order for you to complete this fasting, in order for you to, to elevate your Lord, to declare His greatness, and in order for you to be grateful. Gratitude. This is the secret of Ramadan. This is the time to be reminded. Ya yuhalladina amanu kulu min tayyibati ma razaqnaakum. Washkuru lillahi in kuntum iyahu ta'budun. Oh, you who believe, eat of the good things of Allah, but show gratitude for those things. If you are truly worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the most Blessed things that we have in this world is food. It brings us together. It nourishes our bodies. It sustains us. And then the pleasure of food itself. This is a great gift. Allah could have made brackish water that we had to drink. He could have given us rocks that we had to crush as our nutrition. But He gave us cherries and grapes and figs. He gave us very varieties of meats. He gave us all of the blessings that the earth brings forth. What, is, what does Allah ask us? Shukr. اعملوا آل داود شكرا وقليل من عبادي الشكور Work. Do things out of gratitude. O Al Dawood. And how few of my servants are always grateful. Always grateful. أولم أكون عبدا شكورا this is, he didn't say, oh, kun abdan shakira. Shouldn't I be a grateful servant? Shakir, you can be shakir one time or another time. When you're shakur, it's called siga mubalagha. It's the form of hyperbole. It means you're always grateful. Our Prophet ﷺ was always in a state of gratitude.